thought that within a couple of weeks I'll be fine. I just was a bit burnt out and I just needed a rest. I, I did feel completely physically and emotionally exhausted. Um, things didn't get any better, they got worse really. I felt like I was constantly on a merry-go-round and almost like even if you ran you wouldn't be able to keep up, catch up and you wouldn't be able to step off. I just felt I was always playing catch up. I'd sit at my desk at work and I had to have folders all around me and different pieces of work and I couldn't concentrate and um, the more I tried to, the worse it got, the more muddled I felt and I couldn't focus on anything or concentrate for any length of time and uh, it was only a matter of weeks really, five, six weeks or so, I don't know, before um, I was waking up all times of the night and early morning and um, crying at the thought of going to work because I knew I couldn't cope, I felt a failure and um, but I would just, I would just try and carry on as if nothing was wrong, as if nothing, everything was normal and I'd, I'd get dressed and I'd put my makeup on my makeup almost became like a mask. When I had that on, I almost had to be somebody different, like still try and be professional and um, do the job that was expected of me. Um, and then I remember one morning, the usual thing, woke up really upset knowing that I couldn't really cope but for some reason this particular morning I just couldn't stop crying no matter how how many times I dried my eyes and thought right come on get yourself together get a grip I, I couldn't and um I did manage I put my makeup on and I got in my car and I started driving and I was driving on the road and the tears were just flowing and I just couldn't stop them and I rang you up and you were so worried about me driving in that state you said you kept saying pull over mum, pull over and turn back but I didn't um, and I went to my client and I did what I could and then I went back to the office and um, I just didn't get any better I just, I just was a wreck I was just I was upset and there was anger at home but I felt like I couldn't go home until I'd put everything in order. I think it was then that I finally accepted that I, I couldn't keep carrying on and that I'd have to take a little bit of time out and um, I think at that point I was thinking it would only be a week or two um, and then when I came home Again, oh, I was really upset. I am. Um, I remember not being able to talk without having my hands over my face because it was almost like if I couldn't see the person I was talking to, I could say what I wanted without knowing what that was doing to the other person emotionally. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that was why, but I just I wanted to shut out everything. And and Neil said, um, let's just not go up to Katie's birthday celebration tonight, but I was really insistent that it was a first birthday and I didn't want to miss it. So I did the same old thing and plastered the makeup on more than usual and went up and 
tried to join in and tried to be myself, but I think by then everyone could see through the cracks and could see that I wasn't my usual self. I didn't, I just couldn't manage anymore to hide the fact that there was something really wrong with me. No. No. Yeah, day. I remember I couldn't sleep, I came down like I'd been doing often, all, most of the time, and tried to sleep on the sofa, but um, I felt more ill than ever, but in a different way. I kept going hot, I kept going cold, I felt drugged, I felt like I had no control over what was happening to me. Um, and I remember that morning, I was really struggling and it was like my body was made of lead. And I was going up the stairs to get some clothes, I think, before I got in the shower or something. I can't remember. And I just got halfway up and I was so tired, I just laid on the stairs. I just had to put my head down and shut my eyes. And you were talking to me on the stairs and you were asking me what was wrong. And I think at that point I felt, I actually thought that I might, that I might die. I felt so ill. And I think that's why I let everything pour out, everything that was positive of me. And, um, and then... All I really remember was you trying to keep me awake. And I had a nice bath to try and calm me down. Try and relax me. And then we went to the doctors, but I remember I was a bit of a wreck. And I think I couldn't stand the light. I think I had my sunglasses on. Because I, I realise now that what happens is all your senses are heightened. And I think it's because your brain doesn't work properly. You feel your, your head, you feel fuzzy headed. You feel like you can't remember th things. Um, and I just think because it feels like your brain is switching off, all your senses, your other senses kick in. Your hearing and your sight and your sense of smell. It's almost like they, they kick in when the other things aren't working properly. So I can remember hearing the clocks tick and it really irritated me. Because it felt like it was um, ticking my life away. And it also heightened my feeling of inadequacy and a failure because I couldn't keep up with life. I couldn't keep up with the speed that time was going at. And that sound, it sounds very odd, but it was almost as if my mind was on go slow. You'd go up and you'd go to the canteen for your meal, meals. In between, they would have um, groups and things, therapy sessions. I went to a few to begin with, but they just it all went over my head. I couldn't take it in. I couldn't relate to it. It didn't make any sense to me. But perhaps because I didn't think it related to me. Because I still couldn't see that I was ill. And, and it actually felt like I was in prison. I was convinced that I was, well, I knew I wasn't in prison, but I felt that being there made me worse. And I would just pace up and down for hours on end, feeling trapped. And I...